It's been a while since my last upload and I have a lot of news. But the most recent thing I worked on were two of the Grotto show reels that you probably saw. But if you haven't, I'll leave links in the description. I'm honored to have been given this opportunity. Every year I'm amazed by the quality of the Grotto games and I can't wait for the next one to see how much the community grew. I've been for a while working closely with the Grotto team, especially in things like this, like the show reels and in the communications. But I have some announcements to do probably soon, but that will have to wait. In another news, I finally got to 10,000 subscribers, so thank you very much everyone. I wanted to make a 10,000 stream special, but I didn't have the time. Hopefully I will be able to start making some live streams and do some live code of Dialogic, but I'm still looking for a place and some stable internet. There has been a lot of progress in Dialogic 2. This version of Dialogic will be exclusive to Godot 4. This was a painful decision, but it was impossible for me and the team to maintain the same level of customization and quality in both Godot 3 and Godot 4 because the source code would be very different. There's also a lot of features that Godot 4 offers that helps us make the plugin better. So since we know that many people will be starting new games soon, using exclusively Godot 4, we are aiming to support that. Of course, Dialogic 1 is not going anywhere and there are people who are still making games using that version, so you will get regular support. But if you want the new features and the new way of doing things, you will have to use Godot 4. We have new people joining and contributing regularly. The latest one to join the team was the Bard SRC, which she was working in a game using Dialogic 1 and she wanted to port everything to Dialogic 2. So what she did was a tool to convert your Dialogic 1 projects to Dialogic 2. This will go through all your timelines and characters and will try to do the best it can to generate the new equivalent timelines and character files. She also did a lot of improvements in performance and many other areas and we are very very lucky to have her. So thank you very much for your contributions and hope to see more from you in the future. I don't want to promise any release date for Dialogic because we're still working in a lot of areas but if you're adventurous enough and you want to try the alpha you can download it from the github. We try to keep it updated to the latest Godot 4 beta version there is but be aware that there might be a lot of bugs, things and data might disappear for no reason and that's part of the alpha experience. So if you want to start making a game with it, I will appreciate your feedback and please your backups. You should make backups if you plan on using it. Hope to make a video soon when the first beta is out, but I wanted to keep you posted because it has been some time since the last upload. Thank you very much everyone for your support. I really appreciate the Patreons, the good comments and the great community we have at our Discord. See you soon.